Hello, in today's video we're going to look at small prints that are going to be big upgrades to your Bamboo Lab A1 printers. I managed to pick up my second A1 during Black Friday sale and I decided that it's time to print some mods to see how much more can A1 be improved upon. Let me know which one you think is the most useful upgrade down in the comments. Every model designer is credited down in the description with a link to the model. Up first we have a mod that is designed by Bamboo Labs themselves. This is a top mount AMS mod that allows you to set your spools above your A1, saving space by getting rid of the AMS stand. I will showcase how to install this mod. If at any point you'd like to skip to the next mod within the video, all the mods are timestamped and can be found in the description or the comment section. Start by removing any spools from your AMS and removing AMS hub from your extruder. Remove the PTFE tubes from AMS and then don't forget to unplug AMS from your printer. Disassemble existing AMS stand. Grease up the top mount bracket. The reason you'd want to do this is so that in the future, if you ever need to get easier access to the back spools, you can rotate the upper half of the bracket. Connect the lower and the upper brackets and then secure them using the lock insert and lock screw. Connect the mount latch to the lower half of the bracket. Use M323 screws to secure the latch and the bracket. Now we have to install Z-axis stiffener. Install the damper in the allocated slot. Install the stiffener clamp on each side of the printer frame. You'll have to wiggle it in and turn it 90 degrees afterwards, as shown in the video. If space allows, rotate your printer to make the next part of the install more comfortable. For this part, you'll need either 10 or 12 mm M3 tapping screws to secure the Z stiffener against the clamp. Install the top mount on the printer frame and then secure the AMS to the bracket using M3 10 or 12 mm tapping screws. Install the PTFE tube guides as shown in the video. Insert longer PTFE tubes into port 1 and 2 and shorter to 3 and 4. Since the next step involves connecting your AMS hub to your extruder, why not showcase a second mod of this video beforehand? This little print prevents AMS hub from flexing and bending, making sure that it doesn't break over time, and also provides reliable retractions. Alright, let's go back and test the first mod. Personally, I felt kind of nervous having four spools just sitting above your printer, but since I made this print, it's been over a week and it's working just fine. It took close to 573 grams of filament to print this mod, so just a little over half of your filament spool. A really, really great mod. Now that I have two A1 printers, I have quite a bit of accessories laying around my house. This is why I decided to print this accessory box, which is a remix, not an original print. The designer who remixed this made it more spacious, so you can add more accessories underneath. Definitely a great improvement. My only squabble with this print is that it needs a tiny notch or a form of handle made at the front of the box as it is a little bit tricky at times to open it, that is if you have the latches installed. Overall, I love the texture you get from your PEI plate when printing this model, almost makes it look like it was bought at the store. If you like this video so far, please consider subscribing as I'll be making similar videos in the future. Here's another reason why I printed this accessory box. Babe, have you seen my hot end? This print is not just your typical poop bucket, it also comes with a stopper, so that when the wiper shoots the extruder filament, it doesn't just go flying all over the place, but instead goes down into the bucket. You may want to put some form of double-sided tape when installing the stopper, as without any additions, it feels somewhat loose. Alright, let's see this print in action. Oof, I mean, you get the idea, right? Up next, we have a cable guide. I love this little print as it allows you to organize your cables and make your working area clean looking.
Up next, we have another tiny print that brings a quality of life improvement to your 3D printing journey. This is a build plate aligner that helps make sure your plate is constantly installed correctly and eliminates the time needed to make adjustments. This print here is a very nicely designed cover for your printer's touchscreen. It protects the screen from debris, scratches, damage, and maintains quality. Or in my case, I'd like to use it when Bamboo sends me a reminder for when I need to do maintenance so that I can just flip the screen to ignore it. This print is one of my favorites as I constantly change my nozzles, and when doing so, I keep holding on to the fan when removing the extruder's cover. So this little print acts as a guard from people pressing down on the fan. Love it. This here is quite a silly mod, but alas, works as advertised. You need to install it as you see on the Makers page. They advise to use thin double-sided tape to keep it in place. The purpose of this is to make sure that when the filament is being purged, that all of it gets cleaned up by the wiper. Going down to the comments, where you can download this model, you see some funny commentators showcasing that you can just put a cut piece of PTFE tube over your purge wiper's latch to achieve the same results. Some users thought that this was a 3D printed part, so it was quite hilarious. People want STLs for everything. I want an STL to fix my life. Anyone knows where I can download something like that? When I first printed this, I thought it's amazing how a tiny adjustment like this can change how your printer works. Just be careful with this particular mod as it does offset your printer nozzle, so make adjustments as needed when your prints are near the edge of your build plate. My last showcasing is this strain relief print. It was a bit tricky to install at first, had to really make the gears working in my head to figure out how to put it on. The trick is to print it using TPU or PETG at least, but funny enough it worked for me even with PLA. Make sure that this print is smooth and doesn't have any rough edges as you don't want it damaging the cable. If you're struggling to put it on, what helped me is stretching the spring which allow me to feed a cable a bit easier. Well, this concludes this video for 10 upgrades for Bamboo Lab A1 printers. I hope this was informative for you and that I was able to make your 3D printing easier.